Hello, welcome back. It's been a long time since we've had a new episode of The Spot for Health. My name is Shirley Gutkowski, and I am here to explore health topics with you once again. And today we're going to be talking about food and nutrition. Turns out that food and nutrition are huge, huge issues in our the way that health is in general. And uh, I've been kind of addicted to health documentaries on Netflix and on YouTube and lectures. I've been watching lectures from everybody and uh, it's still very, very confusing. And it's got to be less confusing and we have to start giving up on a lot of the things that we thought were true because as we learned over the last couple of years that a lot of that has been a complete and utter lie. And a lot of what we're learning today is supporting what we had even in the 1950s. So um, the, the long story is that I have been working with Primal Air and we've been helping people breathe and we've been helping people with swallowing and I have a patient now with um, fibromyalgia. We've been able to help her and also Parkinson's disease. And so I've been working on all of that. And this whole time I'm also wondering what is going on with this nutrition piece and how does that all fit in together with health and with breathing and why we have so many dental issues and oral facial myofunctional disorders. And um, the, the nutrition thing keeps coming up over and over again. And part of building a business is to go to networking events and get involved in networking groups. So as you would do as a new business owner, I started to visit some of these networking groups. And I joined one in, um, on the west side of Madison called Capital Connections. And it's uh, a very small group right now. And um, I met a Shackley distributor there named Anka Johnson. And we had a nice little coffee one day and I told her about how I would really like to have some help to put on a series of video watching sessions where we could all talk about these different videos and how these videos play out. She thought it was great and we thought we would get something going last early this, like, this year and uh, we never got it off the ground. And then I became involved in another networking group called the Polka Dot Powerhouse. It is a women's networking group. It's extremely active. It has, it's a national networking group and has thousands of members. The Madison area group now has, I don't know, 42 members. And we have a meeting that meets at the Egg and I on the first Tuesday at, what was it, 1130 or so. And we've just now started our new meeting right here in Sun Prairie at um, Buck and Honey's. So we're going to have our first meeting Jan the second Tuesday of January of 2020. And that's where I met Susie Moon, who is our guest today as a long, long, long way around. Susie is, has just uh, been working in her own business, her own consulting business, helping tiny businesses kind of get off the ground and um, and move forward and so I asked her if she would be interested in helping me do a couple of these things and so she and Anka Johnson who couldn't be with us today we <laughs> I called Mara up I called the studio up like four days ago and I said gee whiz you know we're doing this thing um, and I'd like to get some promotion about it and uh, so we got that scheduled but Anka couldn't come so <clears throat> I have Susie here with us, and we're going to ta talk about what it is that this salon series is about. So welcome, Susie Moon. Thank you, Shirley. I'm glad to be here. I appreciate <laughs> it. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a really neat kind of a way to get the message out, um, and I'm hoping that a lot of our viewers and listeners are going to be able to share um, from the website, especially all of these episodes, so that people can get more information and more help. So what did you think of when we started to first talk about this 
video series. I love the idea. I thought, you know, the, the topics that you were coming up with were just incredible. And a lot of people have questions about them. And I think it was just a key topic to discuss, especially in the winter months. It's very nice. Um, what was the kicker was that you called it a salon series. And that took Anka and I a little bit to get used to that, that idea. So could you describe for us what a salon truly is? Well, we're not going to do hair. <laughs> no facials, none of that stuff. So a salon, in the, the way that we're going to be using the word, is a group of people who are tasked or agree on a topic to discuss. So each of our salons is going to center around a different lecture or documentary um, that's readily available. We're posting these videos all over the place. So the idea is to come to some kind of an agreement um, on the topic. It doesn't mean that you're going to act on the topic necessarily in a classical salon, but for ours, I'm hoping that people will be able to act and to get um, consensus around different health topics. And it's not that we're going to be talking about a ketogenic or a carnivore, a carnivore diet um, compared to vegan or plant-based diet. I'm a firm believer in the idea that we have a DNA expression for our diet that has yet to be examined. And if you're from you know, Northern Europe and your people have been there for 10,000 years, how can you possibly live on a vegan diet? I just can't see it happening. There's no vegetables that grow six months out of the year. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> but if your great grandparents married somebody from up north with somebody from Brazil, what's your DNA expression? Mm -hmm. What are you supposed to eat? So that's, that's my own thing, but I'm interested to hear what other people have to say as well. So good question. <laughs> yes, uh, we're really excited about it. We have five series or five salons in the series. The first one starts out on Sunday, January 5th. It'll be held at Primal Air, which is your business location. Mm -hmm. And that's located at 1266 West Main Street in Sun Prairie. It starts at 12.30 in the afternoon, and um, the cost is just $20 to attend each salon. Right, and the reason we decided to, you know, these videos are free, the place is already paid for, um, but the reason that we wanted to ask for a small entry fee was we thought it would be a draw for people to come for lunch. Yeah. And so we have decided that we don't have the menu yet. <laughs> That's coming. Uh, yeah. But we decided that we would offer some kind of uh, an, a variety of comfort foods appropriate for a winter Sunday afternoon. That are also healthy at the yes. same time. Depending is... on which topic we're going to be covering that day. I don't yes. think we have any plans for any vegan, raw vegan meals, but no, that I'm aware of. <laughs> So if you'd like to join us and you do prefer to eat a raw vegan diet, please come already fed or bring your own. <laughs> um, nothing against it. We just don't know what to do about that. So that's, um, that's the, the generic outline. Yep. Yep. The first one in the series um, is going to focus on the video called The Magic Pill. Um, and that's a documentary. And do you know, do you remember what that one's is about? Yeah, that one was really interesting to me because they they followed they followed a couple of different things in the video. One was this like girl, and um, they also interviewed um, the Aboriginal people of Australia. And probably the thing that really set me off and that just sings in my head all the time is they asked this woman, this really old lady, she, I don't know, 80 or 90 years old, it's hard to know, you know, what their actual age is. Um, how did people die when you were a child? And the first thing out of her mouth was like alligator attacks, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and fights and, and other kind of yeah. traumas and dramas like that. Yeah. And now, today, the Aboriginal people, the original people in Australia are dying of diabetes and these chronic health problems that they never had 
up until maybe 60 years ago or so when the Western diet, well, maybe 100, really started to reach into those areas. And, you know, all the other stuff that they were talking about, that's already one thing or another. But t to see what had happened to those people um, was really, was really dramatic for me and it really just dragged me back into this yeah. to this hole of you know eat what you're supposed to eat eat your ancestral diet what is that not mm -hmm. everybody can tell right it's fascinating uh, you know and I think people of all ages people um, with different diets di different backgrounds anybody would benefit from coming to to hear the information in the the discussion we're going to have after we watch the movie well that's just it because i i got my information from the movie what did i miss mm -hmm. did i take my preconceived notions into that yeah. video did i only hear what i wanted to hear i don't know how can i tell unless mm -hmm. i talk to somebody else about it nobody else i know has watched it so there you go so <laughs> we're going to make a thing about it and we're going to yep. get people's input and see what other people saw yep in there each salon runs from 12:30 until 3 o'clock on a sunday afternoon so it's cold out you want to stay inside and if you're tired of watching football or waiting for the Super Bowl um, to get here, at, you know, in February, I guess um, this is just something that it's interesting to to attend. So well, and you went to a lot of trouble to make sure that none of these salons were going to be up against any Badger games or any Packer games. I tried. I tried my best to <laughs> to, re to schedule. It was the Badger basketball team that really not sure about their schedule yet, but we tried to work around them. Well, and that's why we don't have one every single week. Yep, right. So the first one is January 5th. Yep. The second one is? January 19th, and that one is talking about uh, the politics of food. Do you know, do you remember what that one yes, is about? Yes, so we're going to be um, watching Nina Teicholz, who is the author of, I don't even know the name of the book. I want to say Big Fat Surprise, but she is addressing the, um, oh, come on, Shirley, Cato Institute. Mm -hmm. And she's talking about how we got to our current food pyramid and the shenanigans that went on behind the scenes and all of the political finagling that happened in order to get everyone's needs met. And so that's I think is going to be a worthwhile conversation. Definitely. Uh, the, the one after that is going to be on January 26th um, and it's going to talk about Stink the movie and that one I'm really excited about too. Um, it it's a story about a gentleman who's a father of two young girls. I believe they ordered some clothes off of Justice, maybe, or it was a, one of the clothing stores. They ordered some pajamas, and they he received them, he opened them up, and they smelled like chemicals. And why would packaging have to have chemicals inside? Um, so it's a documentary about his research into why there were chemicals, um, in the packaging, in the clothing, and what are his daughters being exposed to, you know? Um, so it, it, I love the movie. I'm excited to watch it yeah, again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about it, too, um, because there are, there, it's a, all the shenanigans, again. Mm -hmm. We were told not to swear, so <laughs> <laughs> we're going to try to behave during the salons as well, and that was a big, um, a big, piece for us to make sure that this was going to be family friendly so you don't have to come by yourself because your husband's not going to be involved or you don't have to leave your kids at home um, but you know we want this to be a family friendly kind of a of an event we have a lot of parking on sunday afternoons at primal air <laughs> And after that the next salon is scheduled for uh, sunday february 9th and that one is on Pottinger's Cats, which I had never heard of before meeting Shirley and Anka. Um, and that one is going to talk about um, the kind of the evolution of watching cats from different generations go through um, what they're exposed to with food, correct? Yeah, so um, it's, a, it's a YouTube video and it is the 
the summary of a study of a 10-year study by Dr. Pottinger where he fed different groups of cats different diets and the same diet was given to those cats over multiple generations and we can see the deterioration of the health of these cats and what was so eerie was how those cats health deteriorations was pretty much matching the um, what we see in the world today um, especially when we talk about infertility um, and allergies and I don't know whatever else you hear about today that you never would have thought would be a thing was a thing for these cats and he just was really able to match he wasn't able to match it. It ends up that he matched what we are seeing today and how we don't really look at it as, our, as a dietary issue. Um, the other thing that was super interesting to me about that one was how, um, how the cat's facial structures changed. And I've talked about that on these episodes before that dietary changes have caused the face shape to change and has gotten smaller and smaller, not in an evolutionary time frame. And so this really hits that home as those cats were, um, were fed that particular diet over and over, generation after generation. And then we're, that one's a very short video, but it should stimulate a lot of conversation. Mm -hmm. And then we have a little secret video f after that one. and. Um, Something that I've never done that's always been intriguing to me and I feel like I need a hand holding is um, a vision board. And I thought it would be interesting to incorporate a health vision board into our salon series. So um, based if, if people come to each one, I mean, we don't have... We don't have to have everyone come for every vi every salon, right? Nope. They can pick with the ones they want to attend. Um, there is a discount if they do sign up for more than one at a time. Um, so we encourage that. And uh, the pricing is on our Facebook page, uh, which is at 2020 Salon Series. If you search it in Facebook, you should be able to pull that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to try to put together a vision board. And so, um, of health vision board, because it's really important to Anka and Susie and I that if you're going to come to these salons and we're going to go and give up our Sundays, five Sundays, right, yeah. to make sure that this information gets um, discussed, that people take something from it and they learn something from it and they implement on that. Right. So... That's what's what we, we plan on doing right now at Salon Number 4. Yep. And Number 5 is going to happen on Sunday, February 23rd. It's the last one in the series. And it's probably Shirley's favorite, I'm guessing, because it deals <laughs> with the evolution of the face. Yes. So Dr. Mew, M-E-W, is a UK orthodontist. He's a third generation orthodontist. If you know me at all, or if you've even heard the name Gutkowski in Sun Prairie, you know that we are complete envelope pushers. And this guy is already to the outside. It's like somebody licked the envelope and got it good and wet and he just shoved right through. Um, he has been in trouble for his views and the, the Orthodontic Society in the UK has reprimanded him for um, putting his ideas forward because it makes them look really, really bad. And he's going to talk about, in this episode, he's going to be talking about um, the facial changes and how he does orthodontics in a functional way, starting with kids before they have their first adult teeth. So before their six-year molars come in, the American Dental, uh, the American Orthodontic Society or American Orthodontic Association um, has a statement or a recommendation that children should see an orthodontist by the age of seven. And he and others in his little crowd think that those are geriatric pediatric patients. So getting together very, very early, he talks about again with the evolution of what has happened um, and where evolutionary changes stopped and where epigenetic changes had started to take on 
um, these facial changes and how we've lost dimension here and there. Very scient well, he's very scientific and approachable at the same time. And if you like like London, UK kind of accents, you're going to like this video. He's very understandable. Yes. It's not Cockney. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, I think that that's going to be really interesting. So chiropractors especially would be interested in this mm -hmm. one. Um, orthodontists would be interested in this one. Dental hygienists and uh, dentists would be very interested in this one. Um, so if you know those kinds of people, your ENT would also be very interested to learn about that. So I'm hoping that we get a lot of healthcare providers who take care of people with sinus infections, who take care of people with crooked teeth, who take care of people with ear infections. Did you know that an ear infection is a respiratory infection? Really? I did not know that. I didn't either till maybe four or five years ago and I was like, what? What? Wow. <laughs> so that took a little bit of digging, but wow. the eustachian tube that we hear about dumps right into the back, 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 back here, <laughs> into your, to your airway. Huh. So that makes it an airway infection. I learned something new and whenever I'm around you, Shirley, I, know, it's crazy. I just enjoy I'm just it. just a fountain of You of are. <laughs> you are. And if you're not able to come to this series, maybe your Sundays are booked and that's your family time, you know, reach out to us. If you want to get a hold of Shirley or Anka, I mean, there's, I can put you in touch with them. Uh, feel free to check out the Facebook page and you could message us. You can just contact us directly. Uh, we're happy to help. And Primal Air is here in Sun Prairie. So if you wanted to just go to the website, it's Primal primalair.com, correct? Yeah, primalair.com. And so, yeah, so we have solutions for you, potentially, um, that center around your face. Um, Anka has a very active coaching, health coaching business, where she has so many patients, which is why she's not here, so many clients, I guess, um, that she coaches into health um, based on a bunch of different things. And she's pretty excited about this salon series as well. So um, that's, uh, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm amped about it. I know it's like just a couple of weeks away and um, we need for people to get in touch with you yep. or can they sign up right from the Facebook page? They can purchase the tickets right on the Facebook page. Um, they're welcome. I believe my email is on there as well. They can email me directly. It's just susiemoon at yahoo.com if they want to um, send me a payment that way. It, whatever works. We're happy to have whoever's interested attend. Mm -hmm. um, space is going to fill up quickly though, so we recommend for the first one on January 5th to register by uh, the 27th, which is this Friday. Yeah, so, but don't, don't not, don't not contact us if, if it's after the 27th, um, <clears throat> because we don't want, you know, we'll make room, we'll figure oh, yeah. something out. If we have to, we'll have a second, we'll have a second series. Yeah. Um, that would be that would be ideal. I would love to have a second series to to really highlight even more of these topics. Um, this is this is really is a lot of fun. Um, I'd also like to talk about what you do with your business. So you have been um, helping us get the word out. We had a bunch of meetings on how to what artwork to use, what to call it. Should we call it a salon? I don't know. People won't know what that is. I said, don't worry. I think they'll be fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you do for your living. I do. I do. So I have a consulting business that is uh, brand new, um, but I'm working with businesses to help promote um, or, you know, expand their audience, um, find the right audience to put them in front of, you know, whether it be events or just simply social media. Um, I'm happy to help just to try to move your business forward. You're awesome, Susie. You've gotten me audiences with um, three or four different running or cycling groups, and we've had some really good results with that. And, um, I'm just so excited for how everything's going to go for you. I wanted to call your business Butts and Seats. <laughs> but I think that was already taken. It though. was already taken. Yeah. Who knew that was going to be a thing? <laughs> so um, as we're wrapping up here, I'd like to let everyone know that um, at Primal Air, 
we have not been stagnant. We're not only seeing a variety and a multitude of clients. We are also expanding in our um, practitioners. So we have Diane Romeri who is working with us here in Sun Prairie at Primal Air and she's with us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Thursday evenings. So we have more evening hours. She also sees clients on Saturday mornings. And uh, just yesterday, no, Saturday, I um, onboarded three more therapists to do online appointments. And so if you have friends and family that you think could benefit from the services that we provide at Primal Air, we have someone in New York who, sees, who will be able to see patients on Wednesdays all day. Those would be video appointments or locally if necessary. And uh, we have Ricky, who is a dental hygienist and myofunctional therapist in the Dallas, Texas area. And she is also a chiropractor. So we have some really special, specialized kind of um, practitioners in our group. And Katie is in the Chicago area. She's a newish mother and she is extremely interested and interesting about nursing and oh. the orofacial complex, orofacial respiratory complex in relation to, um, to breastfeeding. Breastfeeding forms the mouth. We've been, I know this is, this is off topic. <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know. Um, because it's the mechanics of breastfeeding that we never ever talk about. Everybody talks about breast milk and everybody's mm -hmm. pumping and they think that's all great, but you're still using a bottle. Yeah. And so that bottle does cause facial structure changes and uh, that is another thing. Well, maybe that would be our second second <laughs> series, <laughs> second salon. Thank you, everybody. We're kind of running out of time. Is there something else? Let's just give the, the dates one more time. Sure. Um, so the first salon is January 5th. These are all Sundays from 1230 to 3. The second one is January 19th. The third one will be January 26th, the fourth one, February 9th, and then the last one, February 23rd. Uh, visit our Facebook page at 2020 Salon Series, and you should be able to find it. Awesome, and the meetings will be held at Primal Air World Headquarters, <laughs> the World Headquarters, <laughs> at uh, 1266 West Main, right here in Sun Prairie, right next to uh, Wisconsin Dental and uh, the Physical Therapy, Capital Physical Therapy, Healing Hearts, right next door to Access Dental, right across the street from Clinky Cleaners, right next door to uh, the gas station. Quick trip. So there we go. Thank you, everybody. And I'm excited to be back here on uh, the Spot for Health. And stay tuned in the future. We'll have you introduced to Diane. And uh, we'll just keep right on plugging away. Have a great rest of the year and a great new year.